banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Just because a game is free doesn't mean it's bad, so let's all prepare to enjoy Blacklight Retribution on the PlayStation 4, a game I'm going to add to my collection using my Classic Game Room ID card. Don't forget to clip yours out today. And if you struggle with scissors, get your parents' help first. Because scissors are sharp and pointy, unless you get the plastic ones. Look at me, I'm the Team Warlord! Now I'm dead. This is Blacklight Retribution, a freemium first-person shooter that can be downloaded for your PlayStation 4. While it may not look anything beyond PlayStation 3, I gotta admit, this is a lot of fun. It's fun because it's, well, first of all, free, so it's easy to get into and try it out. But it's also pretty forgiving for those of us who aren't very good at first-person shooters. It always helps when you can see through walls. In Call of Duty, I usually last about three seconds on a map until some somebody snipes me or kills me from somewhere I don't even know. In Blacklight Retribution, I was able to actually be somewhat competitive. And frankly, that just makes it a lot more fun. I'm not saying the game is easy or that I'm all that good at it. It's what I would consider an approachable, fast-paced, fun first-person shooter. And it really helps that the game is free because you can try it out before you pay a dime. So here's how the game works. As you can see, it's a pretty standard first-person shooter with a variety of multiplayer modes. You can also practice just by yourself blowing up bots. As you play the game and mow down bad guys and win matches or lose them, you earn experience points and uh, gold or credit or whatever that you can then spend on upgrades and weapon upgrades to lease them. So if you play well, you can basically just play the whole game for free. If you want a little help, you can spend money. Real money. Like the kind you earn working at Wendy's. And then you can buy things to keep, I think. I think that's how it works. The basic weapons will actually get the job done. Five bucks will definitely get you into the game, and if you're drunk, you can accidentally hit the $99 option. So watch out for that one. I guess you can buy everything with that. You can upgrade all of the weapons, and here's a look at somebody's fancy gun that I picked up off the ground and died before I ever actually got to use it. Thanks for nothing. Even though the game has a fairly generic feel to it, it's stylish, it's got pretty good music, and most importantly, it is good fun. I actually really enjoy this one. I personally like the power to see through walls. It's fun in this game, too. Now, it's important to mention that Blacklight Retribution has a flamethrower, even though distance weapons really seem to be king in this game, so little good it'll do ya. Also, it's a little buggy at times, so that's something you'll just have to get used to. Some games are much better than others. But for free or just a couple bucks, Blacklight is a good time. I mean, just look at this. Normally, my multiplayer footage is terrible, but here I'm actually doing something. And occasionally, I even contributed to winning.
Normally, whatever team I join in a multiplayer round is doomed from the start. I didn't try out the armored suits, but those things are a real pain in the ass to kill, so... I like this game. It's free, it's fun. If you've already paid the money for a PlayStation 4, why not? Just download it and give it a try. Unless you're too busy playing Vectrex, of course, but that's understandable. 